Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Today I'm going to show you how to test the normality distribution of the data using SPSS version 23. So we have our data. I want to test whether some variables are normally distributed or not. I'm going to go to uh, analyze uh, descriptive statistics and then explore. So I'm just going to put this back. Uh, so I'm go I want to test these two variables whether or not they are uh, normally distributed. I'm going to uh, move them to this list and in uh, plots I'm going to tick normality plots with tests. Sometimes you have this you just have to uncheck them. Uh, then I'm going to click uh, for statistics so I already have uh, the right information. I'm going to I have confidence uh, level at 0.05 so I'm going to click OK and in the output this is the result of the Shapiro work test and the Kolmogorov Semernov as well as the QQ plot of distribution to, to, to visually see the, how the distribution is anyway so what interests us is this table I'm going to copy and paste it to uh, my research paper so I already have one to show you uh, to illustrate this so uh, I will say uh, write the report this way for example Shapiro work test showed significant departure from normality I am going to explain this formula so I put W which means work and I put here I put uh, degrees of freedom uh, the number of the sample then I put the equal sign and here again I put the statistic uh, so you can see just two decimal places and then uh, here I put the P value so this P is the sig here so here this P value is uh, 0 0.01 which means that <coughs> it is less than 0 0.0 uh, uh, five and therefore we uh, can say that the data is not uh, normally distributed because uh, the null hypothesis is that there is no statistically significant difference in the distribution whereas the alternative hypothesis is that there is a statistically significant difference in the distribution since the p-value is less than uh, 0.05 we can say that uh, we can uh, reject the null hypothesis which says that there is no statistically significant difference and therefore the, the data is not normally distributed so you can go for the non-parametric tests for other uh, if you want to conduct uh, other tests so this is the report in general I'm going to put this description below and if you have uh, questions or uh, any remarks please do not hesitate to post them below and see you in another tutorial